In the previous video, we have learned the basic settings to be done on the master cam and the part geometry orientation. The video link is available on the description. Now we can see the view orientation, top view, front view, everything is properly arranged. So use isometric view and I am gonna select machine, mill and default machining. We need to remove the outside material of this both contour. So before going to the operation, I would analyze the geometries. So I'm gonna select top view in the home menu. I will take analyze distance first geometry and the second geometry. You can see the x axis distance is almost 11.5, then 10 and mil 10 mm and mil will be the right choice. So click OK and also I will check the depth by position. I will click bottom. You can see here. The set axis depth is 10 millimeters. Okay, I'll click OK and continue for the tool path. Now we had a tool path menu here. From this, I will select contour. I need to select the contour chaining. So I'm gonna use here solid chaining option and enable the face and the loop. So I'm gonna select here this edge and confirm it and you can see the chain direction and chain starting point and in case you need to adjust the chain starting you can click on this next and previous options also you can reverse the chain by using this option so I'll go to next chain and add this chain I'll confirm it yes now I have selected the both chains for this operation. I'll click OK and continue. Here, these are the 2D tool paths parameter required for this contour operation. Here, tool type, keep it in contour, don't change it. And go to tool settings. Here, you can right click and create the tool or else you can select the tool from the library. I am going to select the tool from library. So here you can find so much of tools. So for finding the tool quickly, I am going to use here filter options. So in, from the filter, I will deactivate everything and select only the end mill and I will click OK. Now only flat bottom end mills are there. From this I am going to select diameter 10 end mill click OK here this is a tool magazine number so according to your machine you can give this so if you change tool number to one automatically length offset and the diameter offset will be set to one then from the down here you need to give the spindle speed or cutting speed I'm gonna use 250 cutting speed so RPM is automatically selected and here you can give the field rate for XY motion so I'm gonna use 0 0.05 mm per tooth. The plunge rate is given for the set axis plunging cuts. Here I'm gonna give 250 mm per minute. That's all the tool parameters. Cut parameter. Here use computer and the common session. Here the common session direction based on our chain selection so we have selected the chain in a clockwise direction so keep it in left so if you could select it right the material will be taken from inside so i'm going to use g41 common session by using left and is a stock you can leave for finishing operation for the wall 0.2 stock is left and in the floors you have 0.1 stock I'm gonna use linking in parameter the all the values in the linking parameters are the set values the first option is clearance so whenever we have multiple geometries from one contour to next contour 
it will lift z axis 50 mm and it will move the x y points so clearance is when it is avoiding a bound the escape value of z axis so set it the value around 50 absolute and retracts are within the condos sometimes totally lift and uh, x y position may move and it will plunge it again in those time how much z axis need to be lifted so i'm going to give you a five absolute and this is a feed plane up to this feed plane tool will come rapidly i'm going to use here absolute and one mm and this is a stock starting from zero and here is the depth of cut give it absolute here we can enter minus 10 i'm also gonna activate coolant for this operation that's all then give ok now you'll be able to see the tool path is generated for this operation so i'm gonna use back plot option and see a 2d simulation this in the same window so i'm gonna adjust the speed here and press play button now this is a plunge feed rate and whatever you're seeing now it is a cutting feed rate so now it is taking 1500 feed rate and now it will take 50 mm above to the clearance plane and it will go to next contour now it is starting with the 250 plunge rate then followed by 1500 feed rate so i'm going to increase here the speed now you can close the back plot window sometimes your tool cannot take entire depth of cut at a single time have some edit on the parameters i'm gonna open here the parameter by clicking on the parameter so i'll go to depth of cuts here i'll activate depth of cut and the maximum depth of cut can taken by the tool point two is a finishing cut with one pass okay. whenever you do some changes on the parameter you need to regenerate the operation so click here for regenerating the operation now you can see the depth of cut arrangements and it show you here 2.5 mm is the depth of cut and last one cut is with 0.2 so go to isometric view here in the back plot now you can see the multiple depth of cut is taken whenever it is plunging again it will take plunge rate and for cutting x y it will use the feed rate So I will also show you a 3D simulation of this. So for that I am going to activate here the stock setup. So click on stock setup then select bounding box and select our solid. Here say end selection and click ok. Now we will be seeing the dimension of your stock here. 100 150 and 30 mm is the thickness activate how you want to see the stock setup if you could select solid the stock will be shown like a solid here or for your convenience you can select wireframe also so now click on verify button also you can access the verify from the machine and verify and click on play button so first condor being machined and followed by the second condor you can also inspect by using the verify and points you can click these points to know its xyz values now we can see here z axis is 9.9 .9 because we are used 0.1 stock to be left for the finishing operation the next video I'll be explaining the lead in lead out options and the multi pass for the counter operations. Hope you enjoy the video. Happy learning. Bye.